Next up, Ben, are you ready to read? Yes, yes, we're going to run plus Ben to make the stage. There we go. Hello. Hello. Hello, Jerry. Um, I was going to bring something new down tonight, but um, I didn't finish it in time, so apologies for that. I need to have an old one. But I don't know most of you, so it won't be uh, old to you, but you. Hey. Uh, the poem is about football anyway, and I'm reliably informed by some ex-Sky Sports presenters that women don't understand football, so probably for the best. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but this one is, uh, this one was, uh, I thought I'd do this one, because it was uh, written in the, in the voice of a woman. Uh, and it's sort of my attempt to deal with the whole kind of nuclear energy, nuclear power uh, issue uh, through the medium of a love poem. Uh, it's called Hiroshima, My Love. He was like this alpha male particle who randomly crashed into me at a party all promise and ambition. But that first collision released amorous energy equivalent to nuclear fission. I felt chained to the reaction forever changed by our attraction and split, not into subatomic fractions, but simply into me before and after our interaction. In those early days, he'd worship me with praise and flowers, be they radiant roses like rays of sun the earth devours when days are done, or tulips, geraniums, cadmium red, yellow as uranium. I was enriched. 235 times over, his alchemy made heavy water days fizz like soda. I glowed ablaze, irradiated, penetrated like gamma. He even made me begin to imagine creating a nuclear family. He worshipped me. Like the goddess Demeter, he said our love was too abundant to meet her. He said our love could cheat the fallout from an atomic bomb, beat the apocalyptic hinterland of a nuclear winter. Man, he was wrong. For beneath a love too good to ever be through grew a tumour of mutant words so meant to be true but emptied of energy when his fuel rod was spent. Waste mounted in underground pools too deep to be faced and when it leaked out we covered it up with a blanket of secrets, smothered it, fucked with forced groans that used to be felt, drowned the sound of alarms, screaming of melt 